New from the best-selling author of The Time Traveler's Wife, Her Fearful Symmetry, the New York Times bestseller People Magazine calls an engrossing love story that crosses to the other side. Her Fearful Symmetry, new from the author of The Time Traveler's Wife. At one point, I was giving a reading at the bookstore Women and Children First, and it was question and answer time, and somebody put up their hand and said, well, all of your work is about loss, and why is that? And I went, huh? And then I went home and thought about it, and I thought, well, in a way, that is kind of true. You know, my, my work is about time passing and things that go away and you can't get them back, and death, and, you know, of course, it's also about birth and music and art and running around like a maniac without your clothes on, but it's, uh, it is true that I write about loss a great deal, and I think that I do that because it seems like the most profound thing that happens to us. I mean, in addition to gaining things and falling in love and having children, um, everything that we do is, is potentially going to be lost, and so I just think, you know, it's important to enjoy everything while it's here and pay attention while it's here, so that's actually one of the main themes of the book. I have been making books for a very long time and mostly they were picture books where a lot of the story was being told with actual images. And I was drawing one day and I had this phrase pop into my head, the time traveler's wife. And I have a great big drawing table covered in paper and so I just wrote it on the drawing table paper. And the best ideas sort of stay with you and kind of plague you, and once you have one kind of nipping at you, then you know that you might want to pay attention, and so you start to kind of, you know, think about it and ask questions, and it kind of multiplies and grows, and pretty soon you've got this exciting thing that you're sort of obsessed with, and at that point you know you're going to do something with it. And this particular phrase generated a character, the time traveler's wife. And of course she had to have a husband who was the time traveler and then I thought about what it would be like to be the wife where you're kind of waiting for somebody else who's off having adventures. And so I started to think about it and as I thought about it I thought, well goodness, time travel, I can't really make that in still images. How am I going to do this? And I thought, well, it either needs to be a novel or a movie. And I personally could not just go and make a movie, so I wrote a novel. To my great surprise, it was infinitely easier than writing short stories, um, because short stories are so demanding and you have to bring it home in a reasonable amount of time. And with a novel, it became possible to develop all these layers and you could, you could really develop something very complicated and yet have a fairly simple structure. And I think myself that perhaps the best training for writing novels is to read a lot of them, which I had been doing all my life, and thinking about novels and just kind of not knowing I was going to ever do it myself, but just having a serious um, involvement with the novel. And so when I started to write one, it wasn't exactly easy, but it was less difficult than I would have imagined. New from the best-selling author of The Time Traveler's Wife, Her Fearful Symmetry, the New York Times bestseller People Magazine calls an engrossing love story that crosses to the other side. Her Fearful Symmetry, new from the author of The Time Traveler's Wife.